In this AutoSol training session, I'll be walking you through the Configuration Toolbar in the Configuration section of ACM. For this demonstration, I'll be using a computer with a Windows 7 operating system. The Configuration Toolbar contains an Add option as well as Edit, Tools, Window, and Search options. The Add option is used to add objects into the ACM configuration. These objects will be added to the folder or location that is highlighted when the Add button is selected. You can also select Add by right-clicking on the folder that you would like to add the object to. When you click Add, the first option to choose from is Station. For information on using the Station Wizard, please see the ACM Station Wizard and Folder Structure training video. The next option under Add is Device. Here you can select the appropriate protocol for the device that you're adding. Within the Device object, you can assign a port object for communications, set parameters for time sync, and configure the archive data collection if applicable to the protocol. The next item we can add is a port. Port objects are used to define how to communicate to the field device over the available telemetry. After port, we have history output. These are selected in the publisher objects and are used to determine the format to publish archive data that was collected from the device. Next on the Add drop-down menu is Other. This drop-down menu contains objects that in most cases can be shared and are used to support the various functions of devices, meters, ports, and publishers. Next, we can add a schedule object, which is used to set up intervals for when you would like ACM to collect data and perform other functions like time synchronization. The schedule object is discussed in greater detail in another training video. After schedule is meter. These objects can be selected in certain devices and are not to be shared. When archive data is collected, it is associated with the meter object in the database and can be used for filtering in the publisher. Next is Publisher. This object allows you to select a history output type and filter the archive data to be published by device, meter, or other criteria. And the last object to add in the list is a folder. Folders are used to house other objects and organize your configuration to make it easier to use and manage. The folder structure has no ties to the operation of ACM or the linking of objects. However, ACM has commands and functions that can be executed at a folder level, so it's a good idea to design your folder structure with care. For more information, please see the ACM Folder Structure training video. The next option in the Configuration Toolbar is Edit, which is used for multi-object functionality. When you click on Edit Menu, the first option is Edit Multiple Objects. This tool allows you to view and edit the properties for all objects of the same type in a grid view. When selected, a new window will open where you can choose an object type from the drop-down and select Edit. A window will open allowing you to create or select a view. This is a filter where you can select a custom set of properties to view or edit. Rarely changed properties can be left out to make it easier to focus on specific properties of interest. If you have already created a view with the required property selected, you can select it from the drop-down. If you have not, or would like a new view, you will need to create one by clicking the Add button. You can now customize the name and select the properties you wish to view or edit. Your view will be saved for this object type so that it can be used later until it is either modified or removed. Once you have the correct view selected or created, click OK and all of the selected properties for the selected object type will appear in a grid view. Here you can make all of the required changes. In this view, you can edit multiple fields in the same column at one time. You can select multiple fields in a block by selecting the top field, holding the Shift key while selecting the bottom field in the block. To select specific fields, select the first field, hold down the Control key, and select the other desired fields. 
Once the required fields are highlighted, right-click on one of the selected fields and select Edit Multiple Selected, which will open a window allowing you to assign a new value to the highlighted fields. If you have not saved your changes, you can undo them by clicking the Undo button. You can also right-click on a column and apply or remove a filter. Filter by Parent Folder, Hide, Unhide, or Freeze columns. The next option under Edit in the toolbar is Send Multiple Commands. When selected, a new window will appear, prompting you to choose a protocol before clicking Next. Another window will open, allowing you to filter and select the devices you wish to send the command to. You also have the option to Select All and Deselect All. When the required devices are highlighted, click on the drop-down menu, select the required command, and click Execute. If your command is not able to be executed, a window will appear detailing the errors that occurred. You will have the option to copy the errors to the clipboard if needed for further troubleshooting. Next is the Tools drop-down, where the first option is Get Object Types. When selected, a window will open containing a list of all the object types in ACM, the object count in your configuration, and a type identifier for each object type which is used by the API. The total number of devices in your configuration is listed at the top left corner of the window, and each protocol in the list that has a device count greater than zero will be highlighted. If needed, you can copy this data to your clipboard by pressing the Copy button. Next on the Tools drop-down is User Preferences. Here you have the option to use Forms as the default editing view for the object properties. Selecting Display Object Full Name will include the path of the selected object anywhere the object is referenced within the configuration. You are also able to choose to be prompted for confirmation when moving objects or folders. This is to prevent any accidental moves. View Server Info is the next option under Tools, and it displays your Windows version, license information, as well as the different ACM installed components and their version numbers. This information is useful and may be requested when troubleshooting with AutoSol support. If required, you can copy this information to the clipboard so that it can easily be pasted into an email for support. The next two options in the Tools drop-down are Import Objects and Export Objects. ACM has the ability to export a piece of your configuration or the whole thing into a simple text file to easily be imported into another ACM configuration. When Export Objects is selected, a new window will open with a list of all the objects in your configuration on the left, which can be sorted by folder or object type. Select the objects you wish to export by checking the box to the left of the object. You can also select all, clear all, or select a parent folder to select everything in that folder. There is also an option to include referenced objects. If selected, the ACM export utility will include all of the objects that are referenced in the objects being exported. For example, if you select a device object and have Include Referenced Objects checked, the export will include the device and everything that was selected in that device object. Items selected in the device could include the port and schedule used by the device. It also includes secondary referenced objects, such as a meter object and the advanced meter configuration object that may be selected in the meter object. This can be a great tool for troubleshooting with AutoSol support because you can attach the export file to your support ticket. You can choose between exporting to clipboard or to a text file. When Import Objects is selected, a new window will open. Here you can select the import file by clicking on the ellipsis and browsing to the desired import file. 
You then have the option to update the settings in the dollar sign server object and can select to either update the existing objects in your configuration or to skip the existing objects depending on what you are importing. Below these options, you can select an import root, which is the folder you would like to import into. Before selecting the import root, keep in mind that your export does include the folder structure from where it was exported. When you are ready, click Import to start the process. If you import an object that supports OPC items, or if you have the Unique Names Within Types property set to True in the ACM monitor, the importer will make sure no objects have duplicate names. If it finds that an object to be imported has the same name as an object that already exists, you'll be prompted to let the importer rename it or to skip it. A pop-up window will appear stating if your import was completed or if it had any errors. The last thing in the Tools drop-down is Update Reference Tables. This can be used when only updating a piece of ACM and should only be run when instructed to do so by AutoSol support. Next in the toolbar is the Window drop-down. If you have multiple objects open in your configuration, you will have the option to close all objects. When selected, ACM will close the properties of any open objects. If any of these objects have unsaved changes, ACM will open a pop-up giving you the option to save the changes before closing. If you select Close Unmodified Objects, ACM will close all objects that do not have unsaved changes. Next under Window is Choose Layout. Here you can select from different layouts for your configuration that are commonly used. If you customize the layout of your ACM configuration and would like it to be reset to default, you can select Reset Layout. You do not need to use the preset layouts as you can auto-hide, rearrange, or join windows by clicking on the window and dragging it to the desired location. The last piece of the configuration toolbar is the Search text box. This is used to search the ACM configuration for objects by name or object ID. Once you have entered the information, click the magnifying glass to start the search. If there is only one object in your configuration that matches the search criteria, ACM will open the properties of that object. If there are multiple objects that match the search criteria, they will all show up in the search window, including the path and object type, to help you identify the desired object. Once selected, you can click the View Selected Object button and ACM will then open the properties of the selected object. Thank you for watching this AutoSol training session. If you have any questions, please go to our website, www.autosolen.com, and click on the support link for all support options.